Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, Shay and I are taking a VIP overnight sleeper bus from Nhi Binh to Hawaii and southern Vietnam. Come along. <laughs> so, it's currently 2.35 in the morning. bus cost us around a million dong which is around 40 USD and the bus is considered VIP because it has 20 beds instead of the standard 32 and we should have a toilet on board. The bus is super easy to book you can literally come to the gas station or any convenience store but we found this tour office you go in you point to the map and tell them where you want to go and you can book it either same day or a few days in advance like we did. Alright, so a little situation here, the lady who booked our bus ticket has disappeared on a bike and we're the only people here waiting to get picked up, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. You? It's probably just late. Yeah. yeah. We're supposed to leave at 8, it's currently 8.22, so this isn't looking good. Alright guys, we're still waiting, it's not all bad though, a dog just came up to us. Hello! What's your name? just got in the car and we're heading over to the bus, I think. And it is 8.51 now. <laughs> okay, we just got on the bus. There's Shay over there. Here's mine here. It's pretty sweet. It looks like a spaceship. So this should be a fun 12 hours. All right, so this is my home for the next 12 hours. Let me give you a tour. You have different controls for your light. And then if you want to go to sleep, you turn, uh, it turns on the night light. <laughs> going to the space scene, it's Pegasus. We're given this yellow blanket and a pillow. Yes, some snacks, some shoes, pin this up. Brought some water as well. <laughs> and we just stopped for a bathroom break even though there's a bathroom on board. It's 9.54 p.m. I have a feeling it's gonna be a super long night. side of the road for about an hour and a half and now we're finally taking off again so whatever this tour company is called I would not recommend it. Right. Good morning. Um, it is 8 or 3 a.m. I think I slept for about uh, two hours. There's been constant honking and talking and secondhand smoke all night because we're in the front two cabins. Uh, we have about an hour and a half left and to get off this bus. And also, if you're wondering, I'm about 6'1", and I do actually fit in this whole thing. If I lay completely at an angle, I can fit my head, and then last night but it was a long 10 or it was 12 hours a long 12 hours 
woke up like 1000 times in the middle of the night because of all the noises and the honking and the guys yelling and whatnot. But here's a little tour of my cabin. Here's my little TV and light switches. They make you sleep with your backpacks. My curtain where I can go by David. And there's my pillow and blanket. And my curtain is locked shut, so I didn't get a view of outside at all the whole drive, but that's okay. Okay, we made it to Hue. No one had any idea we were here because they didn't tell us when they stopped the bus, but we got off and got a transfer van. It was only 20,000 dong per person to take us to our hotel. They, sorry to interrupt, they do, they do come through the aisles and yell at you, but we don't know what they're saying, and it was, it was the worst sleep of my life, and that, <laughs> that says a lot, I don't know about you. Yeah, it was a pretty bad sleep. Negative 10 out of 10, probably wouldn't do it again, I'm just gonna fly everywhere. And I don't know if the videos I saw on the internet are true, or everyone else is just lying to make it seem like a great fun thing, but it's not. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here's the bus we took. Um, imprint this in your mind. Do not take this company or bus. If we'll you were in the back, it probably would have been okay, but we were right at the very front, so we heard all the noises and yeah. But if you're at the back on the bottom floor, you'll probably have a good sleep. But then I turn on my AC and I just get a whiff of smoke coming through, so it's pretty much like I smoked all night and I do not feel well at all. <laughs> All right, it's the next day. We checked into our hotel in Huawei and we slept the entire day and recovered. And we'll see you in another episode.